Good morning. It's Melody Lane here. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Bobby and everybody in the chat. Thank you for coming. Thanks for chatting early. We had fun this morning. Um, let's see. There's 85 of you here waiting in the chat. Um, so today's going to be fun. Let me turn my mute my computer. Um, we are going to do um, shapes and make them into patterns. I did do a video on this before, but I'm going to show you a little bit more. And I haven't done it in the updated software. And it matches those hearts I did, which I don't have at my desk right now to show you. But I did a video with the frames and the hearts in them. And I'm going to show you how to easily make your own. Make it in any shape, really, in any pattern you choose. Or you can create your own pattern. So let's get started. Hmm. Try this. You are watching Melody Lane With me you're gonna have a great crafting time Okay, hey everyone um, Let's, I do this every morning Not every morning, every Saturday morning 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific And so that's 9 p.m. Mountain and 10 p.m. Central so thanks for joining. Um, I do have an email notification I try to send out every Saturday before the video. And I send out notifications of the mystery box, the Cricut mystery box and stuff. So if you want to join that, I think there's a link in the description below, somewhere down there. Oh, and I'm having a, it's for the next seven days, maybe six. I think it started last night. Uh, I'm doing a giveaway just a random giveaway because you guys have blessed me so much. I need to bless you back. Um, it's a Amazon Alexa spot. It has the little video in it. If, it. if you go to my community on YouTube, you'll see the giveaway. I also shared it on my Facebook and in my Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane Facebook and my Craft Hoarders group. On Facebook so go enter that if you haven't made that if you haven't entered yet um, I just love my little spot I have one in my bathroom and it plays me my happy music when I'm getting ready you guys are awesome in the chat um, thank you all for coming and let's get started okay here's design space uh, and I know some of you are really new to Design Space, so I'm going to, because it's St. Patrick's Day coming up, I was going to use a shamrock. I forgot there isn't one here. But you can use any of these shapes. I use the heart here when I made mine. But let's go to images. And I'm going to search clover just to get my shape that I want first. I can choose any of these images, really. Um, oh my gosh, look at those glasses. These are cute. They're from Sesame Street, Elmo and Friends Holiday. That is so cute. I never saw those glasses. They're not real glasses that you can wear. They're just a picture of glasses. Uh, let's, let's just do the four-leaf clover for now. This is in access. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Sue Nelson, for the $5 super chat. This is designer's calendar. This is home for the holidays. They are a little different. I like this one better. Whoops. Okay, so I have this one selected because it has the green box around it. So I'm going to be explaining things that some of you may already know, but it's going to help some of the new people. Um... And you can see it down here. So now I want to look for an image to put in the background. So I'm going to type in background. And there are other words to find these two. And if you have Cricut Access, some of these, like this one, is not free. It's from a Close to My Heart cartridge. If you want to get the ones that are free to you, you for you to use. See, a lot of these don't have an A because a lot of them came from 
close to my heart, I think. You can click the filter, and I'm gonna go ahead and just click Cricut Access. So all of these will show the little A, so they'll be free to use. If you guys don't have Cricut Access, it's awesome. And I know a lot of you just upload SVGs and stuff. This is so much easier. You have over 33,000 images to choose from. And there's one that I really like for St. Patrick's Day. Um, so I'm just scrolling with my mouse going down. I think it was this one. What's this one from? Edge to Edge 2. I like that cartridge. And so you can see the two images I chose down here. And we'll do different images too. Uh, oh, and if you have questions, please put them all in caps so I can read them better. I can't read all the chat. There's so many in here chatting. But I do want to answer questions. Okay, let's... I'm going to zoom in, just hitting the zoom down here. And some people said in previous live videos, it's hard to follow my mouse because it's not big enough or colored. I can't change it. If anyone knows how to do that on a Mac, let me know. Okay, so here's the image we want. Okay, now what we're going to do is make this like I have it in the frame. So it'll, I don't know how to explain. I don't have that thing open. So I need a box, a square. I'm gonna make the square 6.5 inches. We're gonna move that to the back by clicking arrange at the top and move to back. Okay. Now this piece has multiple images, so you can see over in the Layers panel. They're hidden. Oh, we probably could have just used that square. Um, let me see. Okay, I, hi Jamie. I saw this and um this was is not normal i don't know if this was with the update but i selected this image over here even though these were hidden in the past you could not slice if it was grouped at all you had to ungroup it and only choose the layers in there but i did not ungroup it you can see these are all grouped the clover even has a background and it's all grouped and i selected those those are hidden though, and it's letting me slice. I wonder if it'll let me slice without that hidden, no. Nope. So as long as the other layers are hidden and you select them both, you only have to draw a box just to cover the two and it covers all of it and you can tell they're selected in the layers panel. So if you ever see the slice not available, look in the layers panel and that will answer why. Some are saying their screen is blurry. I'm not sure why. Oh, it says the stream is bad. I don't know why I did a test, speed test and it was great. Let me check my network oh, that's good okay so we're gonna just go ahead and slice this okay now I sliced it and you can't really tell it's sliced until you move these things out of the way. So you'll have that and that, and you will have that. Now, this is the one you want. 
sometimes now when I go to do this, sometimes I do the wrong one and I just have to undo and do it again. So this one we're just gonna delete. And these, they're the same thing. Gonna delete that. So now these are the opposite. See how they're the opposite? This is the one we want, the one that has the thicker lines through it. And then we're gonna put it on here. So I'm just, you know what, I'm just gonna hide this one for now. I'm gonna select both of these and then I'm gonna go to a line because I want it centered and put centered. <gasps> Thank you, Jay Ross. Thanks for the $5 super chat. And now I'm gonna select these, well, they're already selected because I arranged them and click slice. So now you have that. Um, don't like that color. Let's make it this, oh, selected the wrong one. Let's make it this color and you know what? I could just make this green, or canvas green. So you could put like a square behind it of paper and be any color you want. Does anyone have any questions about what I just did? I'm gonna hide them. I'm not seeing any questions. Okay. Let's do the same thing with the heart. Let me know if you have questions. I still have background up here. I was wondering what this one would look like. The background is green just because I made it green. You can change the color of the canvas to any color you want. Okay, now we're gonna do it with the heart. And with this as the background. Um, just wanna pull that over that. So I just selected them both, and you can see both of these are selected in the layers panel over to the right, and then click slice. And then you have to pull it apart. So I'm holding down my mouse button. This I'm just gonna delete. So see the two different ones, they're uh, opposites. Um, if you, there's a question, if you don't have Cricut Access, do you still have to pay the access fee to use your designs? Um, if you don't have Cricut Access and you use an image that is not free, you do have to own the image or pay for the image if it's not free. If you're talking about my designs and Patreon, I do try to use free images, but I can't all the time, like the hearts I used, Cricut images in the background. So if you don't have access, then you do have to pay for the design. My Cricut Design Space files that I share are made in Design Space, so they're not SVGs. And we need a background. Let's change this to white. And I'm gonna arrange it to the back. I'm gonna select them both, and I'm gonna go up here and click Align and Center and they're both still selected, and I'm gonna go down to the slice option. 
So now I can pull these away. And there's that heart. That's kind of cute. I like that heart. How do you pick the right layer? Do you really want to know how I learned to pick the right layer? I picked the wrong layer. You just pick which one. It's it's hard to say. It's, you pick the one with the most, with the holes through it. So you have to kind of see the opposite. Oh, let me do one with the other one. Let me show you what happens. Okay, so this is the one we did, this white one. This is actually the same one. Let's just get rid of it so we're not confused. Okay, and let me make this one... Uh oh, froze for a second. Okay, it says my stream is better now. Hopefully it is. Okay, so now this is not the correct one and I'll show you why. Let me arrange and bring this to the front. Okay, select and slice. So here's the difference. Now, if you're doing this out of vinyl, it's okay, you can do either one. The problem with this one is, the purple one, is these are all separate pieces. And I kind of make these so you can cut them out of paper. And do you see, let me, let me move these out of the way, make this bigger. Do you see how like this piece right here, it's a tiny pieces. If you were cutting this out of paper, you'd have to glue those pieces right in the exact same spot. So that's why I say you don't want this one. Now, if you were doing this with vinyl, it wouldn't matter because they all pick up the same. So you could do it with vinyl. Okay, come on, I'm trying to make you smaller. And see this one, let me make it on top. It's all connected, so all the paper will pick up as one piece. Does that make sense? So the white one is correct. And sometimes I go in and do the wrong one when I started making these. Thank you, Frida, for the $5 super chat. When I go in and make these, I usually do the wrong one first. And then I look at it. And if it has cut out pieces, I just do it again with the other piece. Please don't think you have to do everything perfect your first try. Yes, I love that heart too. Um... What else? Let me show you how you can do your own thing with shapes. I've never actually done this. We have to have you another color. Let's just make the heart, the star, another color. We'll do gold stars. And duplicate. You guys see this okay? There. Um, just gonna make them all touch. And go over that edge a little. Lock them, and I'm going to duplicate the whole thing. Let me group these just so I can move them around together. T 
duplicate. Duplicate. And you can do this with any shape. I really find this relaxing and fun just to create new designs and see what I can do. Whoops. Um. Yeah, Janice, you did when you made me a card. I showed this in other videos, too. Okay, let's just duplicate a lot. So while I'm doing this, I want you guys to tell me something you're happy about today because I want everyone to be happy. If you feel happy, happy things will happen to you. You can decide to feel happy by thinking about what you're grateful for, thinking about happy thoughts, even if it's just happy memories. That feeling you send out to the universe comes right back at you and makes the good things come to you. I hope this turns out. <laughs> You guys are seeing me do this for the first time. I don't know how it's going to work. We're just going to see what happens. I'm just trying to show you you can do things like this. Let's, let me ungroup that. Let's do one bigger star right here. Ungroup that one. Take this one out. Okay. Uh, no, the file will not be too large for DS right now. I'm just going to hide this bottom one. I'm going to weld these together. See what they look like. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, now I'm going to slice these. See what happens. Okay, that's garbage. Okay, so now I'm going to take this one and put it in. Um, let's try a star shape. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Slice. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna move, just move all this out of the way. Okay, now we're gonna get a box. Now, and I'm just getting a big square, but you guys, you know what you can do? You can uh, make this into a card. You can do a different, I'm not gonna do a different shape because I'm doing a star, and, but you can do this. This needs to be bigger. Arrange to back. Okay, let's move this. Let's straighten this out like that. Select them both. Let's align and center and slice. So there's just a few slicings involved. Oh, well, oh yeah, I guess I can see it now. It's okay. You can see the little stars through it. And then if you add a shape behind it, let's make this gold. I would probably redo that and make it a little better. I can see where I would add a little more stars and stuff. But do you guys have the idea? Let me look at your questions. Uh, for the circle cartridge is only for a year no, you do own the circle cartridge. If you buy the circle membership, you own that cartridge for the rest of your life. And you get 10% off everything at Cricut for just the next year. I love seeing everything you guys are happy for. You guys are amazing. Elizabeth is lost. What are you lost on, Elizabeth? The easiest way to do it is, I'm just gonna get rid of everything. Um, it depends on how intricate it is. Uh, some of the circle cartridges, the options are not all exclusive. The only one available is exclusive. So we're going to go to images. Background. Now you guys can... set these to right also and use it as like a coloring page like these are all written on there you can have it right on there and color it in that's a pretty one This one is a cool one too. This is from Anna's Ribbons and Bows. This one's not in Access. If you have Access Premium, you can get a lot of the cartridges for 50% off. I'm gonna hide these layers. So I'm gonna take the heart So this is all I'm doing is I'm choosing an image, only choosing one layer, hiding the other layers, choosing a free heart from the basic shapes from here. And you can go and choose an image that's not in the basic shapes if you want. And then I'm going to the bottom of the layers panel and clicking slice. So then I have this pretty image which you could cut this out 
in vinyl and stick on anything. You could cut this out of um, HTV or iron on vinyl and put it on a shirt. So you can use both of these images. And say you want this one cut out of a card. Let's make a card real fast. It doesn't take long to make a card. Okay, let's, let's just do a little color. I really don't like this color. I like a light pink, but I move this all the way up to the top. Do you see in the color modes? I like it up there better than at the bottom. It's more pink than orange. And we're going to make this, I'm going to make it a regular A2 size card. So for the width, I make it 8.5. And the height is 5.5. And then I get the score line. Just put it here, select them both, align and center. So I will have to attach a score line, but we don't want to attach it until after we do this. Now, let's move this to the front. So I'm moving the heart to the front. And making it smaller. My computer's going slow. I have like 20 tabs open and doing a live video. So now, you i would i would put it over here i always like to make the front of my card here and then fold it the other way if i want to put something on the inside i would add another square to right there unless i'm only adding if i'm only writing or doing something to the inside i could add writing here and then put the image on top of it on the back of this paper i hope that makes sense so this is going to be the front of the card i'm going to select them both and slice. Let's move this stuff out of the way. So now that's the front of the card. And let's move this to the back. Arrange to back. So now I'm going to select the score tool and attach so it will cut out that way. And you could also add writing to it. Be my Valentine. Let's do writing. So I'm clicking on where it says style and changing that from regular to writing. So it will do that. Whoops. I want to change the double clicking the text, hitting enter. Then I'm going to center it by clicking alignment and click center. Move the line spaces together. You can choose a different font. Angel kisses. That's good for Valentine's Day, right? Oh, this one needs to be fixed. <laughs> okay, let's, let me show you that really fast. Ungroup lines. Ungroup letters. Okay, ungroup letters in this one. So I'm just going to move these closer. Really doesn't take long to do that. And then group them back. Be my Valentine. I don't really like this font. I thought I would, but I'm just showing it to you. So that doesn't really match this card at all. <laughs> and then attach. So 
Does that make sense? How to align score lines evenly across a rectangle. Okay, I will show you that. Yes, you can change a score line to a cut line. Okay, I think I got all the questions in caps. Uh, can you layer overlapping iron-on to a shirt if you add layers not to exceed the easy press recommendations time and heat? I'm reluctant to try this and fear I'll ruin the shirt. Okay, what I do, I have a few videos on this, and I think last week we talked, I showed you how to slice so you were not overlayering, overlapping, but when I do it, I put down the first layer of iron-on, put it on for only five seconds. Peel off the plastic, then put the other one down for the recommended time. And then you're not overheating it. Um, let's, let me hide, let me just get rid of all this. And we'll show you. And if you're not sure you did it right, always hit make it. You will know if the score line is attached and if the writing is attached. If these are on another mat, then you have to go back and attach them. This is how I learned Design Space. I just tried things and hit make it and to see if it worked. I'm like, oh, that didn't work. What do I have to do now? And then you just play around with the buttons. Um, if I was not writing on the outside, let's detach. Okay, let's just move this, group this. Okay. If I was not writing on the inside, you could um, flip this, flip horizontally, and then put that here and attach it here. So then this on the left side is the inside of the front of the card. You cannot write on the outside and inside unless you add a shape. So you could like add a shape here and write on top of this so then that would be on the inside. That's the only way you can do it because the Cricut cannot flip the paper over for you and write on it again. You could do that. But the Cricut can't do it. So you'd have to physically do it and then you have to get it in the exact same place and I would never trust myself doing that. Okay, are there any questions? Okay, I just showed how to write on the inside of the card. I don't know if the, it's, the playback is behind. Uh, oh, somebody asked about the score lines. on how to distribute those. So let's say you had three score lines and you want to distribute those across the shape. So you want them evenly spread out. Let's make them long enough. Um, Let me move this so I can just grab the score lines. First, I want to align them and align bottom. So they're all even at the bottom. They're, they are different lengths just because I didn't size them before I did it. So now I'm moving this out of the way so I can just grab these. 
the score lines. So now I'm selecting all three score lines. You can tell they're not even. We're going to click a line and then we're going to go down to distribute and distribute horizontally so they're even. And then it puts them evenly like that. Now they're distributed evenly. You can group these or attach them together and then select the paper and align and click center so they will be centered in the paper. Yeah, Joan, I wish they did like the faux stitching too. They do, and one cartridge has some faux stitching, but not like a regular line. Um, and that works with shapes and stuff too. So I'm just going to duplicate a bunch of these. Now, you have to spread them apart though. If I were to grab these and say align, let's align them all straight and then distribute horizontally. They are distributed horizontally, but let's do this. Now select them all and align and distribute horizontally. Then they're all evenly spread, like they have the same amount of space between them. And align bottom. So now they're in a perfectly straight row. Ronald, thank you so much. I am very grateful for you also. Oh, how can you write on design space on a pre-cut card? I've never done that. You could use SnapMat in the iOS app, but it's not guaranteed that you get it in the exact right spot. Cynthia, I don't know about the gatefold cards. Bev Ann, thank you. I really appreciate you guys. And I want to make sure I said it at the beginning of the video, but not everybody was here then. I'm doing a giveaway for Amazon Alexa Spot. It's a little video. It's new. And uh, if you go to my community on Facebook, no, I did share it on Facebook. But if you go to the community on YouTube, uh, you can find how to enter there. Here's the community too. You can click that. I'm so happy, Lynn. It, it makes everybody happy. Are there any more questions? You know what I could also do? Um, I'm going to move these here. I'm going to duplicate these. Oh, look, I missed one. I guess it doesn't matter which one I duplicate. Okay, let's pretend that one's perfect. And they're not move them up. I'm going to weld these and find another background image. Let's um, one more intricate one. Let's choose one that's in access just because let's do this one. Oh, I selected them both. 
Okay, I'm gonna change the shape of this one. Slice it. Now we have fun circles with a fun shape. You can do this with letters too. You can make letters do any shape you want. Uh, cupcake toppers, I don't know, just whatever you want. I would cut one out of just plain paper and see what you think. All right. Oh, can I bring something in from the turn of phrases? Do you guys, yeah, I can totally show you that cartridge. If you guys are interested in the circle. Oh, I, I have it filtered access. So here's the cartridge. Hmm, this is zero images. Have you guys had problems with this? It's not working. Huh. Let me sign out. No, I don't want to save anything. Well, if this is a problem and that's not showing up, I will email them since the video's over. Filter's not on access. Yeah, I didn't know this was a problem. I just thought that they were showing that you had prices next to ones that you owned. That's the only problem I thought. I didn't know they weren't there because the images. Um, does anybody know a name of the image? Try another circle cartridge. Um, remember, what's, I don't know the names of them. I know there's one called something to remember. No, that doesn't work either. I thought the only problem was there was a charge next to them, but it still let you use them. Yeah, they have prices next to the ones you own, but when you go to use them, they don't charge you. No, I don't have the filter set. It's empty. <laughs> Keona, you're funny.
Yeah. See, I didn't think there was a problem because if they had prices, you can still use them. So that's no problem. And I thought it was just on the iPad. So they'll be working on it. They'll fix it. They always do. But I'm wondering if we can see the images. But I don't know the names of them. Let me look at the cartridge again. Uh, be the reason somebody smiles today. I love that one. Okay. Let's look up smiles. No. So many smiles begin with you. These are awesome. It says remove filter. Is that just a standard remark? I don't know what you mean. If you have a filter set, maybe. I don't have anything in the filter right now. Mary, thank you. I enjoy doing the classes. Kathy, you d the images are not linked to machines. They're linked to your account. If you're using the same account you used on that machine, they should be in your design space. Is it better to have a cartridge or get the online version? They're not making cartridges anymore. So your only option is online version. It's not better to have the cartridge, I don't think. Then you have to store it and never use it. So I quit buying cartridges. And if you buy the digital version, it's instant. You don't have to wait for shipping. Are there any more questions? Uh, the contest is only for USA and not Canada. And that's totally not me because I would totally have it open to Canada. But it's an Amazon giveaway. I, I'm paying for the prize, but it's on Amazon site and it's their rules. Yeah, Joan says it's that way with all her circle cartridges. Seems to be. Uh, you can enter the giveaway by going to my community, and I have it there. Oh, Ladybugs, I don't know why you can't enter if you're in USA. Yeah, they'll fix the cartridge thing. Is there any other things you want me to show you? Or do you have any more questions? Next week, I do my opening viewer mail, but right now I only have one. So that might wait if I don't get any more. Or I may do that in my class video. How to round corners on cards. Do you know what I do? I click here, go to cartridges. Um, search basic. Uh, Michael, I use the ad tech. I don't know. I used to use the cordless one, but I don't have that one anymore. So I just bought a corded one. This Cricut Craft Room Basics is an awesome cartridge. It's completely free. 
It has rounded corners, but to be honest, these are too rounded for my liking. I just go to a square. Let me show you what happens. Okay, looks like a normal square, but I use the background. Let me make it bigger. And the corners are rounded. This is, and it's free, completely free. And the corners are rounded. The inside here are totally square. So you have to hide the layer and use the outside layer. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm not showing you this. Let me show you design space. So sorry. Let me do that again. So I just type in basic here. Click on Cricut Craft Room Basics. It's free. And I just clicked this one. Brought that in. Hold on. Why didn't it bring it in? Let me get rid of this. Images. Insert image. Oh, because I think I forgot to click insert image. Okay, see this is totally square. It's not what you asked for. Turn on the background, hide the top one, and then that's rounded. And it's just rounded a little bit, so it's kind of awesome. So if you use the background for that, you get a little bit of roundness to the cards. You can write on the inside. Let me change the color. Uh, let's just make it yellow. So I would have score line. Let's just pretend we centered that. And hello. Change this to writing. Attach it. Oh, I forgot to attach that. The score line, I didn't grab that. Attach. So this is the inside of the card, and then you can design other things. Let's just pretend. So this is going to be the front of the card. We're going to glue these things on the front of the card. Okay, we're going to glue these things on the front of the card and I place them here to do that. But when you, after this card prints out, you fold it here and then I would actually put these on the other side of this paper. Yeah, the basics cartridge is completely free to everybody. Nobody pays for that, no matter what. Yeah, you can't write on both sides of the card at the same time. I could write I could write on this piece and attach select those and attach and write on that and then glue it to the front. That's how you would write on both sides of the card. Yeah, there are some free cartridges. And do you guys want to know how you get the free cartridge of the week? I'm going to sneeze. Click on. Um, ah! oh, excuse me. <laughs> click on cartridges or categories. I'm sorry. So click images, click on categories, the middle one, and click on this person flying through the air. These are your free cartridges of the week. They start on Wednesdays and they're free until two Tuesdays. This is great for, look at this. I love this bicycle. I think that would be awesome on a shirt. Just cut it out of iron on and put it on a shirt. 
Ooh, a marry me card. Who's going to make that one? Um, somebody just asked if those will cut on, thanks for the bless yous, if they will cut on different mats. And each color will cut on a different mat. If they were the same color, they would cut on the same mat. Uh, and somebody asked what pen is best to write with. It depends on your writing. If it's small writing, then you want to use the fine point. If it's bigger writing, then you might want to use the medium point. But here's more of the free. And these are like envelopes and you can put these tags in the envelopes. I love this dog. I think that'd be cute on a shirt too. And that's why I say like, oh, and this cartridge is not access, but I say to use access because it's so much easier to use Cricut images. This would be so cute. You just click it and use it. You don't have to upload and you don't have to worry about it cutting properly. Ooh, a heart balloon. And swirls. You can like use these swirls and make your own shapes like I did at the beginning of the video. Yeah, you can do anything with tags. That's what I used to ask. What do you make tags for? Because I never made tags before. But you can put you can put them in scrapbook pages. You can put them on the front of a card even. So this has a lot of things, but it's only free to cut out this week. You can save it to a project and use it a month from now, but because this week is over in a month, you will have to pay for the image. So you only have until Tuesday to cut from here. So if you think there's some that you're going to want to use in the future, cut them now and then just save them. I know it's not access because there's no green A. Where's my mouse? There it is. See, there's no green A up here in the corner. What happens to the free designs after the week? They're just not free. You have to pay for them. They'll be 99 cents each. How did I get the free image cartridge of the week? You click cartridge categories. Sorry, I keep saying cartridge. So here's the images, shows you the images. Here's categories and then cartridges. So it's just categories. And if you want different categories, like there's birthday, Christmas, Cinco de Mayo, anniversary, animals, achievement. Let's see what that one is. Oh, so this one is like congratulations and stuff and thank you. And then there's also the designers when you scroll down. DJ Inkers, that's a new one. There's no images. Must be coming. I don't ever remember seeing that one before. I love the Jen Goody designs. She has lots of drawing on her designs. Love the penguin, but a lot of this is drawn out or it has cut images that have the writing on there. See these? They're so cute. And I own a lot of these too, but they're still a price. But because I own them, it won't cost me to cut from them. Look at her little robots. And there's drawing on every single one. So it, it gives you more to your image than just paper. Joan says the designs go back to design heaven. Yeah, if you save one of the free images in a project, you will have to pay to use it later.
I want to make stickers out of vinyl with uploaded faces. Um, well, it depends on what the faces look like. Um, I don't know if there's any more questions. Can you buy the whole selection? Oh, do you mean like the whole selection of Jen Goody? I don't think you can. You can click on the image on the little eye and it will take you to, like if you click, I clicked on penguins. So it's going to take you to all the penguins and then you can click buy cartridge. So you can buy like all of her penguins. So if I go back, uh, let's do Robin Bob. He has fun ones. He has some new ones I was going to put. Look at these. I love these too. These have writing on them. They have some new one, a new cartridge. Oh, look at the snowman. He stands up. So cute. Here's the new one, I think. Rob and Bart, Barb, Rob and Bob Artspiration. So you can buy the whole cartridge, yeah. I was gonna make these do all things with love in my frames. Oh, I've never heard of DJ Inkers. I can't wait till their images come out. Looks like they're coming. I don't know why the maker doesn't have as many material choices. Look at this owl. That is so cute. Oh, and live an inspired life. I was working on this too. I was going to like do some patterns on here with my digital paper and make that one. I love that one. You are my sunshine. Look at that one. So cute. I was going to make these for my the frames I used. Are there any more questions? I have a video already finished for Tuesday. And I'm working on a special one for Thursday. And I don't know what next Saturday class will be. So if you have any opinions on what you want me to show you next Saturday, let me know. And thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, everybody. I'm almost to 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, you'll have to watch the replay, Gary. I'm just about finished. I guess I am finished. I don't have anything else. Uh, the best membership for a Cricut newbie is access because you get 33,000 images and exclusive images and exclusive fonts. You'll just have to try the different fonts and see what you like for calligraphy. How do you find the patterns? I searched background. Let me go back to images. There's also, I searched other things before and I don't remember what I searched. Oh, I forget you can't see my screen right now. I just searched background. Yeah, the access standard is a good choice for newbies. If you want to purchase cartridges or images to have and keep later, then I would get um, access premium. So you get 50% off every all the digital images you buy. 
except for Disney and Anna Griffin in like Sesame Street and Hello Kitty. But uh, the Robin Bob and stuff, you do get 50% off. Rose has a question. When picking an image that has more than one color, how do you do it to keep each color together on vinyl? Okay, so let me just bring this image in. Oh, I have that dog in there too. So are you saying you want to cut this all out of one color? Is that the question? Oh, I think I know what you mean. How do you keep each color together? You just, this is not a good example. Okay, let me show you just with these. Duplicate. So let's say you were cutting Let's say you were cutting these out of vinyl and you want it to stay exactly as it is and you have an image. Let's say this is on top, range to the front. You want to cut this out and keep it exactly as it is without it moving. Let's just move this out of the way. Let's pretend we're just doing the green and yellow. You would have to, if it's an image that's all in her You'd have to hide these. Where's this one at? Hide that one. Ignore the hay there. And then attach these. And then bring these back. Attach those. And then when you go to make it, they will be exactly where they were on the mat. Yes, you can cut craft from with the Explorer too. Yeah, you can. Um, the classes are all available afterwards. Sometimes it takes like five minutes for YouTube to process it. Yeah, if you become a Patreon, uh, you get all of the files that I share. Not the, I mean, I'm not saving these that I just did, but all the ones I've shared in videos and stuff, you get all of them. If you get the big package to access, will you later have to pay? I don't understand. If you pay annually, you get it for a year, and then in a year you'll have to pay again unless you cancel. Rose, you have to select it all and attach, and it won't go all over the mat. They will stay in order. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thank you. Don't forget to enter my giveaway if you want a, a Amazon Alexa show. Not a show. The spot. It's a smaller one. Love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.